Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share some garden updates that we recently did. We've been working a lot in the garden now that the weather is nice. We did some refreshing and planting and just sprucing things up and cleaning. So I wanted to share some of the updates with you guys. It was also my birthday weekend, so it was such a nice weekend. So make sure you stick around. It's gonna be a fun video. So our outdoor area, we redid this space a while back. I think this is going on year three um, that we've had the garden and it needed some love. It had gotten so dirty and stuff is piling up and things that we need to throw out and purge and just do a really good cleaning. Lots of weeds from so much rain that we've recently had in California. Um, my little rug, such a pretty rug, but it was filled with like algae right in the center there. It was just really screaming for a good cleaning. So I have um, some plants that are still hanging on. They're actually doing really well because we've had so much rain and now we have sunshine. So the plants are still hanging in there, a lot of them, but I wanted to pick up a couple new ones. And with it being my birthday, I was gonna treat myself, so. If you guys know me, you know that I am obsessed with all things plants and going and hanging out at the garden center is my favorite thing to do. So I have been looking for these every spring and I found them. These are the creeping myrtle and they are so beautiful and they're in the flat. I also wanted to pick up some lavender. We really need some bees in our garden for pollination and to get some of our vegetables and fruits going. So lavender is a really great way to bring the bees in. I ended up going with Spanish lavender. I really love the English lavender too, but it just wasn't flowering at all. And I don't know if it is done flowering for the season or if it just hasn't flowered. So I ended up going with the Spanish lavender. They also had these really pretty topiaries um, at Home Depot, but I did end up going with this really vibrant, beautiful Spanish lavender. So I believe I grabbed a five gallon um, thing of the lavender and then I grabbed a smaller one because I have two containers that are perfect for that. So I have to just share about this power washer. I got this one on Amazon and it was about $100. Um, I think it was on like a little deal and then there was a coupon as well. I will link it if you guys are interested, but for $100, this power washer was really, really good. I was a little nervous buying something like that on Amazon, but it did really well. And you can see like, it just takes this algae off of this rug. I thought this rug was probably gonna be done for, but it honestly made it look brand new. And we were able to use it on everything, all the furniture, the house, the patio, <laughs> like you will see, we used it on everything and it made everything look brand new. It was so good. So once the rug was done, we laid that out in the sun on the other side and then started on the outdoor furniture and these cushions. And I was really worried about these cushions because they're so white and they were just looking really bad. But again, that pressure washer, it literally just made them look brand new, super white. Um, yeah, they, I can't say enough about it. They look so good. We also used it on the pillows. These pillows had little tassels and it was able to take all of the pressure. It did really well and made everything look brand new. So we've had these cushions, these pillows and the outdoor chairs for almost a year now and they have held up really, really well. And they're pretty much in like almost direct sun all the time. Sometimes I'll put the umbrella up. Um, and yeah, they've done really, really well. And they're from Target. It's the Studio McGee from last summer and all of this has held up so well. So this little outdoor table, I actually built this, so don't judge me too harshly. It was just a quick little project, but um, yeah, I guess I just have gotten used to it being that kind of really dirty brown color, but this is the original color that it's supposed to be. And yeah, it just looks brand new again. So if you remember, I built this potting table from an old arbor type thing that we had and it's held up really well. One thing that hasn't held up well is my hummingbird feeder. So I got a new one. Happy birthday to me. Um, I got this one from Home Depot. I can link it. I think it's on Amazon too, but I'm just making some sugar water. I boiled up um, 
four cups of water to one part sugar. Um, let it cool down and I'm gonna put this in our hummingbird feeder. I love sitting in the window and watching the hummingbirds and the birds. Um, my last one, I think we hung it on the fence and the ants got to it. So the hummingbirds would not go near it just because I don't think they like the ants. So um, yeah, we're gonna hang this one on one of the hummingbird feeder poles so that it's hopefully doesn't get any ants on it. But yeah, I'm happy to have a new one. I don't think I would have believed anybody if they would have told me for my birthday, I will buy gardening stuff and hummingbird feeders. I don't think I would have believed you, but this is my life and it's the simple things, right? The little details and the little things that make you happy. <laughs> So our outdoor rug dried really fast. This one is from Target. I think it's just a threshold rug, so I will link this one. It's a really good one. I love that it's neutral, but it still adds some warmth and texture. So these are the Studio McGee chairs from last summer, and they still have that little tag on the back. I never took it off, so. If you remember the planter turned umbrella stand that I made, it is one of my favorite DIYs to date. I will link that video in the corner for you guys. If you're in need of an umbrella stand, this one has held up really well. It still looks brand new. This is the umbrella thing that I made. So there's an exact tutorial for how to do this, but I'm just going to fill that topper cover type thing with some really pretty creeping myrtle. So this is the flat of creeping myrtle that I found at Home Depot and I couldn't find this last year but I found it the year before and it is my favorite thing because it reminds me of Disneyland. It is so pretty and it grows so full. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of soil in there just to give it something to kind of latch onto. So the way this creeping myrtle grows is it grows really full, but it also starts to hang over that planter. And I'm also going to give it a little boost with some fertilizer. This is my first time using this, but I have heard really great things. It doesn't burn the plants and it says that it's good for up to six months. So hopefully we will get some really gorgeous full really, really pretty blooms from this creeping myrtle. I've used the creeping myrtle in this container before, and I think what finally got it was the frost um, in the winter. So it lasted all spring, summer, and so now I just know to care for it a little bit different once the frost comes. So I have two containers that I love so much and they are perfect for lavender, which there is a price tag still on there. <laughs> but um, yes, I wanted to put lavender in these. They just look so pretty. They bring the bees. So I'm filling one with the larger one and then the smaller container, I'm putting the same Spanish lavender in there as well. And I'm also going to put a little bit of that fertilizer in here as well. I need to give these planters a little bit of a cleaning. I see some spider webs on there, but I was just having the best afternoon in the garden and there's nothing better than being barefoot and around all of the plants and the dirt and the rocks. It's just the best thing ever. I pretty much grew up barefoot <laughs> running around five acres with no shoes on, so I love it. There's nothing like it, but I'm gonna put this smaller planter right in front of the larger one and group them together. They look so pretty. These turned out super pretty. I really hope that they bring the bees. They were covered in bees at Home Depot, so we have yet to see if they bring some bees, but I gotta piece everything back together. Our table is dry. This little tray, that was from the Studio McGee last summer, um, but I will link everything I can. So I just had to trim up this little kind of spider looking plant. It actually held up 
that's been there for probably over a year now so I just added those a little purple I forget what they're called I think they're like a calancho they're similar to like a succulent but they just grow really easy they're really easy to take care of so I'm just gonna put these freshly washed pillows back on and this little green one, I know that one is still available at Target this year, so I've already seen it. Give them a good little fluff and they're ready to go. So I like to have an umbrella back here. It's nice without, but if it is uh, sunny on this side, I like to sit under the umbrella with like a little drink or coffee in the morning. It's so nice and it just really filters that light out so because we already have the pole i just bought the replacement canopy but for the whole set it's really not that big of a difference i think it's maybe 10 or 15 dollars more but don't forget you can always use a coupon um, at world market and a brand new canopy is just the ticket it looks so gorgeous so all the way to the right there i have a little meyer lemon tree that is just starting to take off it was a birthday present actually I think two years ago and it's just starting to take off so I'm super excited about that. Um, I have some ranunculus way back there you can kind of see them peeking through they get a little dramatic um, during the day with the heat but they are some of my favorites super pretty and our garden beds in the back need to be cleaned out and replaced with new dirt so I think that's a project for another weekend but I hope to get some fruits and vegetables going very soon. I'm really glad we got this patio to a place that I can enjoy it again. I just couldn't stand looking at it so dirty and dusty and filthy and it feels brand new again. So these are my ranunculus. They're super pretty. I actually got these bulbs from Walmart. I think it was last year. Um, like I said, the ranunculus get a little dramatic and then they perk back up when it cools off. But yeah, they've been really pretty for cuttings and I just put them around the house. This little outdoor refresh gets me so excited to enjoy the rest of spring and summer. I love drinking my coffee out here. It's so peaceful. The kids really enjoy being out here as well. So it's a nice little family quality time that we get out here. So I'm so excited. It was the perfect birthday weekend. We went out for the best dinner and then the boys got me a cake and sung happy birthday. So it was super, super sweet. So I hope this video helped you or inspired you in some sort of way. Let me know if you are doing any updating or refreshing. I would love to hear what projects you guys have going on. And with that, we will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.